What's better, oat milk or cow milk? Let's find out. In the UK, we spend 3.8 billion pounds on milk every year, and 85% of that goes to the cows. Well, not to the cows. We're gonna look at price, sustainability, convenience, health, nutrition. Then we're gonna do a taste test on three different ways of drinking milk. Over the last year, prices of pretty much everything have gone up. And at the same time, the amount of foods being bought has gone down. Sales of cow's milk has gone down 6.1%, while sales of plant-based milks has gone down 2.7%. First up, price. Glebe Farm is £1.85 per litre, although it was on offer at £1.50. Meanwhile, Morrison's milk is £1.30 per litre. When it comes to price, there's only about 20 to 50p per litre different. That's not a lot of money, unless you're buying 10 litres a week. So round one, it's a draw. Round two is sustainability. Oatly have carried out a full life cycle analysis of their production, and they came out at 0.27 kilograms of CO2 equivalent per kilogram of oat milk. When it comes to dairy cows, there's a huge variety of production methods that all have differing impacts on the environment. We're going to refer to Poor and Nemechek's 2018 meta-analysis, which is still a benchmark for food sustainability. They place the average at 3.2 kilograms of CO2 equivalent per kilogram of cow milk, so over 10 times more than Oatly. Oat milk definitely wins on environmental credentials. Round three, convenience. Oat milk is long life and it doesn't need to be refrigerated either. Both of these have got nearly a year before their best before date. Cow milk does need to be refrigerated. It'll go off quite quickly if kept at the wrong temperature and these have got about one week till their best before date. Although we do know that could last longer if they're stored correctly. Check out the videos. Oat milk definitely wins on convenience. Round four, health and nutrition. First up, oat milk. Per 100 ml of oat milk, there's 48 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 7.2 grams of carbohydrates, and 1.1 grams of protein. This oatly has also been supplemented with vitamin D, riboflavin, vitamin B12, calcium, and iodine. When it comes to cow milk, let's go for semi-skimmed. It's 48 calories per 100 ml, 1.6 grams of fat, five grams of carbohydrate and 3.4 grams of protein. Just looking at the macros, oat milk has higher carbohydrate and lower protein, whereas this has less carbohydrate and a higher protein level. Looking at the research, Glover et al 2022 did a large analysis and found that in general, plant-based milks do have lower levels of nutrients than cow-based milk. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It just demonstrates that some plant-based milks are not necessarily a direct replacement nutritionally for cow-based milk. You just need to be aware of that. Cow milk is nutritionally superior, so it's gonna win this round. Round five, Taste test. Yeah. We're gonna test these two milks in three ways that they're commonly used. That's a bowl of cereal, a cup of coffee with hot milk, and a cup of tea. First up, cup of tea. I think I made a cuppa for someone with this and it just wasn't good. So we're gonna go with the uh, Glebe Farm Barista for the tea. Let's try the semi-skimmed. Got our two cuppas. Let's do a taste test. Oat milk, cow milk. No, that's weird. That's tea. That's a clear win for the cow milk. <laughs> Let's test the cereal. We're gonna go for Oatly this time. It's very yellow. That's very white. Fun fact, when they do photo shoots of bowls of cereal, they sometimes use PVA glue instead of milk because it's whiter and then you can like place the cereal nicely for the shot. That's cow milk. That's the oat milk. Go with the oat milk first. Tastes good. Total draw when it comes to cereal. They both taste great with cereal. Last up, coffee. We're gonna go with the barista oat milk and then we're gonna go with the whole cow's milk. <laughs> Cow milk makes a nice coffee, who knew? Oat milk makes a nice coffee too. When it comes to taste, cow milk still wins just because of the cuppa. You can't make a cup of tea with oat milk, it tastes like Overall, they're both really close. If you don't drink tea and you're aware of the fact that plant-based milks often aren't as nutritionally strong as cow's milk, then well, it really doesn't matter which one you take. It's just down to your personal ethics and choice.